Assistant FBI agent John Connolly is getting out of prison on a medical release. In a three to two decision, a uh, Florida board paved the way for Connolly's release, finding Connolly is terminally ill and is no longer a danger. Connolly was the FBI handler for South Boston mobster James Whitney Bulger. And as Boston 25 News reporter Bob Ward tells us, victims in the case really have mixed feelings about Connolly being released. John Connolly, the once star Boston FBI agent, is getting out of prison early on medical release. In a brief hearing before the Florida Commission on Offender Review, a panel voted two to one to release Connolly on the grounds that he is suffering from diabetes and terminal melanoma cancer. I was thrilled and excited, not just for John, but for his family. Peter Mullane is one of John Connolly's attorneys. He's seriously ill and has definitely limited mobility. Um, and the strength that he has, hopefully he dictates it to the uh, doctors and gets the proper medical treatment to stay alive as long as he can. John Connolly was convicted of second-degree murder and was serving a 40-year sentence in Florida for the 1982 mob hit of businessman John Callahan. Federal prosecutors allege Whitey Bulger and his partner Stephen Fleming orchestrated Callahan's hit after Connolly told the gangsters that Callahan might implicate them in another murder. John Callahan's widow, Mary Callahan, told me she agrees with Connolly's compassionate release as long as he remains supervised. He's not free. He's never going to be free. He's not free of his health. He's not free of his reputation. He's not free. John Connolly's relationship with Bulger and Fleming embarrassed the FBI and fractured relationships between federal and state agencies investigating them. Retired Mass State Police Detective Lieutenant Bob Long's surveillance of Bulger and Fleming was compromised by that relationship. And as Connolly is released, he is thinking of the victims. Turned out to be a gangster with a badge, destroying families and losing their loved ones. They're not coming home to their families today. There are conditions on Connolly's release. He is, for example, restricted to stay inside wherever he is living. He does not have to stay in Florida, but we don't know when or if he'll come back here to Boston. I'm Bob Ward, Boston 25 News.